Now we are going to start with a branch that is the animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is a branch which deals with the rearing animals in farms in large numbers to meet uh, to get the uh, meat needs of food and other products that means we rear animals in large number we are rear rearing of animals on large scale in large number to have uh, food or uh, food products or uh, you know, fulfill our other other needs that is called as animal husbandry so what is livestock there is a new term that is a livestock livestock is uh, is is a term used for animals that are reared for useful products so livestock is the animals name your term used for the animals which are reared for a specific purpose so we have categorized the livestock into different uh, uh, like uh, they are fulfilling different requirements so we have just classified them we have milk yielding animals so obviously milk yielding animals also called as milch animals they are those which give milk or which give dairy products like we have cow we have buffaloes we have egg yielding as the name suggests they give eggs that means they lay eggs that is hen duck etc there are animals that are meat yielding they would give meat for example hen goat we have draught animals draught animals are working animals they are working for us like cow goat bull they are working for us likewise we have fiber yielding they give fiber fiber like silk worm we have uh, other useful products like goat buffalo honey bee they are giving some other products also so that means livestock is very important and uh, they should be reared in a proper manner so that is why we carry on different farming like we have uh, poultry farming we have dairy farming so where we keep dairy animals we where we keep poultry animals and we take care of uh, their shelter food diseases everything because we are rearing them for a useful purpose so we are starting with the uh, livestock farming in which we are taking up first dairy farming so obviously in dairy farming we need to rear animals which are useful for dairy products so we have certain varieties also so in, we have indian varieties of cows we have foreign breeds of cows and we also have cross breeds so let us focus on indian breeds of cow they are more most popular red sindhi sahiwal gir you need to remember these name because you'll get a question that name indigenous varieties or indian varieties of cow so you should know that it is red sindhi sahiwal and gir and if we talk about foreign breeds that means foreign varieties of cow that is new jersey and swiss these are the common one and uh, if we found, if we look for the cross breeds that means the breeds which we have formed by cross breeding indian and foreign breeds that is current fries current swiss and fries well they are actually obtained by cross breeding the indian breeds and the foreign breeds likewise we have uh, cross breeds for the buffalo also cross breeds are always the better breeds with desired characters mura mehsana surti they are the cross breeds of buffaloes you need to learn please indian when we are uh, foreign and the cross breeds of cow as well as for the buffalo and see now when you know about the breeds now you need to uh, like in rearing you have to keep them and where you keep uh, that place is called as shelter so obviously shelter should fulfill certain characteristics because shelter also play a important role when you are rearing animals so the shelter should have an appropriate space that means proper spacing is done overcrowding is should not be there that means each animal should get proper space to live moreover there should be a drinking supply proper drinking clean water supply in the shelter there should be proper disposal of excreta there should be a you can say a there should be a uh, like a, there should be a proper disposal of their stool their urine so that there should not be any germs or any kind of uh, uh, this thing uh, there should be proper cleanliness in another way there should be uh, the shelter should be properly ventilated because they need to respire also so for that they need the uh, clean air so there should be proper ventilation and that should be germ free so obviously you need to uh, take care of these things uh, when you are just uh, trying to rear animals that should they should have a proper shelter and moreover see when some animals get sick there should be a proper that means there should be a proper isolation of that animals because if you will keep that animal along with the, them so uh, the disease may spread into all animals and uh, even the products which we are going to get will get spoiled so you need to take care of the animals as well so you need to provide them a proper balanced diet 
because there is a diet which is meant for uh, specific meant for milk yielding egg yielding meat yielding that what kind of products they are giving us so that kind of carbohydrate fats proteins we are providing them so we need to take care of the diet also that they should be uh, given a proper balanced diet now coming on to the disease, we see that there can be a certain kind of disease which can occur in cows and buffaloes like there can, it is a rinderpest, cowpox, foot and mouth disease, anthrax, rinderpest, cowpox, foot and mouth disease and anthrax. These are the commonly occurring disease in cows and buffaloes. So there are certain symptoms which you can, which you found in an animal and uh, you should know that uh, actually you should clearly examine the animal uh, on daily basis because then only because they can't speak out and they cannot tell you your, their pain. So you need to look for the symptoms if there is uh, something, something different from the normal state that means uh, they have a discomfort and they are suffering from disease. So what kind of symptoms what you can analyze in an animal? Like if the animal is not eating properly that means loss of appetite that means uh, uh, he is not that animal is not feeling well. And moreover, if, it, if there is an excess salivation from the mouth, then also obviously, if the animal look inactive, so that, that also a symptom for uh, some disease, that, he's, uh, that animal is not in a comfort uh, phase. Moreover, if you see that there is redness in eyes and if you see that uh, the stool is not proper, the watery stool uh, is, pass, uh, is passed or uh, when you see that uh, there occur a certain kind of blisters on the body or swelling in some part. So that means these are the symptoms which actually tells you that your animal uh, which you are, you are taking care of is not uh, uh, well, he, uh, that animal is not in a comfort phase. So there you need to take care of. So there are certain symptoms which we can see in the commonly occurring disease like in rinder pest there is loss of appetite this animal stops eating there is the nasal discharge as well and there is a diarrhea also that occur in a rinder pest in cowpox we see that animal develops fe fever and nodules on the skin in foot and mouth disease there is excess salivation from the mouth and moreover the animal stops eating and becomes inactive too in anthrax we see that there is a swelling in the body there is a swelling some kind of, of the body and the animals become again inactive. So if you look for the symptom, if you see certain kind of symptoms, then you need to take a preventive measures. Then only you can prevent the disease, right? So and vaccination is very important. You need to supply them with the uh, appropriate uh, medicines and all so that you can take care of the disease. Because if you will take care of the animals which you are rearing, then only you are going to get a beneficial product also. So you need to take care of them like you are taking care of a baby a newly born baby because they can't also speak like babies so you need to take care of them in this way then only you're going to get uh, benefit from in one or other way so this is what is a dairy farming now we're going to start with the poultry farming because there also we have poultry birds which are reared for some useful products right so this is what is a dairy farming